we have to look at this as a medical procedure. It is just that. Mm -hmm. And for any other medical procedure, if you were advised to restrict alcohol consumption before the procedure or caffeine, you would want to embrace those uh, guidelines. And we ask for the same compliance when it comes to Zorona because ultimately you're investing in a process that is attempting to change your life, to give you the new contour, to motivate you in other aspects of your life as well. And so for the best outcome, we need you to restrict caffeine and alcohol. From a biochemical perspective, it's very important because we just got done discussing the importance of hydration and how it helps mobilize the fatty material. Well, caffeine and alcohol, they represent what are known as diuretics. These individuals block essential hormones in our kidney that cause us to release a tremendous amount of water. So what that essentially means is we're not retaining water. And so if the process again is relying on hydration, if we're consuming a diuretic, then ultimately we're blocking water retention and what we're consuming is then lost. So we want alcohol and caffeine restriction to ensure that patients are successful at the end of their treatment regimen. That's imperative. And if we just need to restrict these for just a little bit, for several weeks, to ultimately get that goal that you want to achieve, then I think it's worth it.